guys, it's Miss Erin. For those of you that don't know me, for those of you that do, hello again. I wanted to make a quick video and explain this art walk and what the fees are for, who can join, who can attend, things like that. So real quickly, any Newland student can be a featured artist at this event. You don't have to be in Miss Erin's class. You don't have to have created the artwork at school. It doesn't have to be something that you've done with me, without me, whatever. It can be anything that you've done, anything creatively that you've done. I know we got some creative kids out there, so any of you guys can join. For the registration, I can only have 30 students be registered for this event. For the 125 that you're paying for the registration, this is what you're gonna get. You are going to get two classes with Ms. Aaron, and I'm going to help you determine which pieces are going to display good in your booth. And I'm going to help you set up and design your booth. If you need my help, I'm here for you. If you don't, that's great too. I know a lot of you are super duper creative. So some of you will probably do stuff that just blows my mind, I'm sure. So, um, but I will have supplies to help you do that. We're gonna have the tables for that. Um, and so one of the classes will be covering that and helping you set up your booth so that you know what to do the night of the show. Another class will be going over your artwork and determining which pieces, which two pieces, you want to blow up onto a canvas. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So here's a drawing that I did a long, long time ago. Just on a piece of paper, color pencil, regular paper. Um, I'll probably never part with this. So what I do is I blow this up onto a canvas. So, and what I mean by that is I take a photo of this with my phone. I edit it, I change the colors a little bit, brighten it up, make it how I like it. I upload it to a website that I use that prints all of my merchandise for me. I have canvases, purses, things like that. I upload it to their site. And this drawing oops, turns into a canvas that you can hang on the wall. So it's got wood, it's back stapled, it's got a hanging thing. So it's ready to go. It's a, it's a piece of art that's ready to go. And a 16 by 20 canvas looks like this size. So this is a copy of an, an original painting that I did a few years back. Um, and I print, I reprint this and I've probably sold 15 of these. So when I say uh, we're gonna blow it up onto a canvas, this is what I mean. So if your kiddo's got a couple paintings that they have done in the past that they love, it doesn't even have to be this size. The painting can be like this size. I can take a picture and stretch it out and blow it up onto the 16 by 20 canvas. Okay, something else that we're gonna do, if your student has um, some pencil drawings that they just wanna maybe sell some posters of, maybe they don't wanna blow this up onto a canvas, maybe it's not gonna look the best on a canvas, whatever the case is, I have posters. So this is, again, a pencil drawing I did a long, long time ago. And this is a poster that I actually made at Staples. This costs, uh, I think it was like 10 bucks or something to print at Staples on poster paper in color. Actually, no, it wasn't $10. I, I think it was way cheaper than that, maybe like five. Um, but yeah, we can print, if they've got like one drawing that all of their friends really, really like and they want to sell it, they can even sell it for Bob Bucks. They could sell it for Newland dollars, dollars, or they can sell it for cash and keep the cash. Whatever they want to do, they're free to do for that night, okay? So they can print out 20 of these if they want, if you guys wanted to do that, you know? So those are the options as far as um, what they're getting for that 125. They're also getting a lot of Miss Erin's time. It is going to take me hours and hours and hours to edit 30 students' artwork, so that's like 60 pieces that I'm gonna edit and blow up to these uh, 16 by 20 canvases. Also, I want to tell you that if your child, um, this is more for like the older kids because I, I don't think the younger kids are really on devices yet as much as, you know, maybe third and fourth grade and fifth grade. If they use this app called Pixar, there's this really, really cool app that my daughter uses that she will start just a blank piece of paper in, in this app and she'll add a background and then she'll layer stickers in there of cool things and then it comes out to be like a really cool piece. If your child is into that, I can print that as well. And I'll show you something that I've done. And now I didn't do this in Pixar, but I have an iPad Pro. This is a drawing that I did in my iPad Pro. And it's all completely digital. There is no, there are no paintbrushes, no pencils used for this, nothing. You can 
blow that up onto a 16 by 20 canvas. So if they have a couple pieces like that or they want to do a couple pieces like that, the one of the classes I can help them, I can show them that device. And I think, I think they can download PixArt on their Chromebook. So uh, I know my daughter, she's in fourth grade at Newland, and she said that a couple of kids do have Pixar on their Chromebook. That's something they could do in their spare time at home. So they could design something super cool for them. But that's what they're going to get in those other two classes. It'll be more of like a question and answer. Can I do this? How do I do this? And all of the students are going to learn from all of the other students' questions. So, um, so that's what those are for. And then parents, you're welcome to attend both of those two meetings two classes with your kiddos. If you have questions that you both need to hear the answer for, totally both come to that those either one of those classes and I can go over everything with you guys. Okay, so they're gonna be able to display their booth however they want, set it up however they want. It's, it's gonna be a really, really amazing event. All of Newland friends and family are welcome to come. It's free to attend. And I'm also going to be preparing little flyers for the kids that are displaying their artwork. So they'll have flyers to give, and it'll just be like a little poster card, a little glossy, colorful poster card that's gonna say, come to Miss Aaron's first art show ever and um, see my beautiful artwork. I can put a couple samples of their artwork on there. However they want their flyer to look, I'm willing to design that for them. So it's gonna be a really, really wonderful event. And I hope that you get your kiddos signed up for it. We have some extremely talented little artists at our school. I've been so fortunate to be teaching this art program there. I've been getting to see literally every single, I think we have over 450 students at our school or something like that. Um, I've got to see every single one of their artwork throughout this school year and it's just been absolutely amazing. So I'm hoping that a lot of your kiddos register for this and if not, I'm hoping that you guys all will attend and support the kiddos that are displaying because it's, it's really going to be a fun time. And as always, my phone number is everywhere. Feel free to call me, text me, send me an email, um, find me at the school. I'm usually in the C Corps doing something artsy crafty. I'm there Tuesdays and Thursdays after school doing art classes. I'm super accessible. Don't worry about I mean, you could probably even text me at 9 o'clock at night. I'm going to be awake staring at my phone planning something. So <laughs> planning an hour lesson or, so or something. You know, so don't hesitate to call me with any questions. Text me. However however you like to get a hold of people, I'm fine with it. So um, you could even, in the comments in this video, you could post some questions because it might be a question that another parent has. And I will check this page and make sure that I answer any questions. And then, um, yeah, I think that's it. Okay, I'll see y'all soon, bye! Quick recap. Only the first 30 students to register will be the featured artist at the Art Walk. Registration is open to all Newland students. Deadline to register is March 17th. Registration covers two classes, materials for the event, and lots of Miss Erin's time before, during, and after the event.